and welcome to episode 31. 31 of Road to Distraction. Uh, this week there is no Nightmare Owl, no Death Bear, no Connor, no James. No James. We've gone back to basics. Just me and Lee, proving the girls in car. No, wrong. <laughs> Doing a bit of dogging. <laughs> oh, I love it. Alsatians, I like. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> he crapped out again, then, didn't he? He did, just a bit. Just a bit. And which one of us two is starting? Because we could try and fill 30, 40 minutes of yeah. time. Okay, I'll start then. <laughs> <laughs> For factual story, um, life on Mars was apparently possible as NASA found water in the week which you could drink. Seriously, on Mars? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. We didn't see our story. They found uh, lots of clay deposits, and when they analysed them, it was present. Um, fresh water was present amongst it. Ooh. So there we go. So does that mean they could possibly go there and terraform it if they need to? Possibly, yeah. Hello. More research has got to be done, but... Uh, oh, I'm yeah. liking it. I am liking it. It's about damn time. I got a sci-fi you want. A sci-fi, not sci-fi, actual science. Uh, this is a device called the Scandu Scout. Uh, it's been invented uh, by NASA guys to do with um, AMES Research Park. It was that AMES Research Park? Not too sure which it is. Um, it can gather information about blood pressure and various other bodily functions, uh, you know, white blood cell count, whatever, just by holding it to your forehead. Wow. It takes 10 seconds to scan and then sends your information to your mobile phone. Or your smart, your any, any smartphone, yeah. It doesn't have to be a Samsung or an Apple, doesn't matter. Uh, basically, folks, we are almost at the tricorder. I mean, you got it. I mean, you'd be able to, if you were actually worried, you think, oh, I've got a bit of a pain in my chest, pain in my chest. It'll read your heart rate and tell if there's a murmur or all kinds of things like that. I think that's absolutely immense. It's about this big. Literally about that big. And you hold it to your forehead and it does all the reading. I think that's incredibly, wow. incredibly press yeah. impressive. How does it, how does it read things then? How does it... I don't know. I have no idea. There was, it was, I read the story during the week and I thought, that is amazing. Wow, science fiction becoming science fact. Yeah, the tri, the, the, literally the tricorder has like, started. Yeah. Like I said, it sends all your vitals to your uh, your smartphone. How cool is that? That's brilliant. I mean, I, I want to phase the next, guys. Yeah. I want to shoot a Klingon. Do you want the setting to stun or just lethal? Oh fuck, what's the point of stunning? Yeah. If, if you shoot them with a big enough film set in the kill, then they'll just vaporize it be no. Oh, ah yeah, evidence. no evidence. A perfect <clears throat> crime. Folks. You wanna do another one, Lee? I will do another one. He's gonna do another one. Uh, this weekend marks the 30th anniversary of uh, Blackadder. Seriously, 30 yeah, years? 30 years ago. Since the first one? Since uh, Blackadder, yeah, 1983. Oh my god! Uh, at the moment, if you've got the channel, um, I think it's on Dave or Gold, they have a show of them, yeah. series uh, back to back. All of them? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that, lot. I'm gonna watch that, I love Blackadder. First ones, if, if you see like, if you've only ever seen the second, third, and the fourth one, you watch the first one, you think, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, you sort of look back and you think, mm, maybe. You're not sure, but um, two, three, and four are absolutely amazing. Right. One was great when it first came out because it was so different. You know, and usually when you've got programs in that era, you're not actually having this sort of thing done. No. And they went right over the top with it. One where Edmund actually got married to like a child. That's right, yeah. And all he could do was read a bedtime story because <laughs> she was really too young to have it do anything else. Yeah. I mean, oh, God bless poor old Blackadder. And then uh, Baldrick was quite intelligent in that episode. Yes, well. he was. He was quite clever. Yeah. And then as the centuries went on, of course, he became dimmer. The roles reversed. Yeah. So you can, uh, Baldrick became thick, really dense. Oh, didn't he? With his turnip or parsnip or whatever it was. Turnip. Turnip, they were. Yeah. Well, they always use a parsnip, though, when you see it. Not a parsnip, but um, a swede. It's like mm -hmm. a swede. Yeah. I thought, eh? That's, <laughs> not, that's not a turnip. But, uh, yeah, I'm still... Hoping, I know the time's getting short now that they would do a fifth season of it. But yeah, you know, all knocking on a bit now. Yeah, I mean, Hugh Laurie's doing his singing thing now. Yeah. Um, Stephen Fry, God bless him, he's still battling depression, so I've heard. Yes, 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 he is. But, um, 
Um, the guy who played Percy is really, really sort of a bit plump now as well. Oh, Tim McKinnery. Yeah, yeah, McKinnery, yeah. Yeah. Darling. 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 Yes, hello. Ha ha. <laughs> that's it, yeah? I love that. That's perfectly done. That's really perfectly done. Oh my god, that's amazing. Do you know yeah, that? Serious, it's a black adder. I got a lovely story, Ben. You're going to love this. This should put a smile on your face. Heath Campbell is fighting in court at this moment in time to get his son back. But it might be a bit of a struggle. Because Campbell is a Nazi. Now he's from New Jersey and the problem started when he went to a cake shop for his son's birthday, they didn't state which birthday, and asked them to place his son's name on the cake. Right. The cake company refused because they did not want to write Adolf Hitler on a cake. <laughs> his name is Adolf Hitler Campbell. Okay. Now, uh, the cake company reported this, reported the guy, and then social services in America, or whatever it's called, child, whatever it is, protection yeah. agency, came in, went into his house, his house is full of photographs of Adolf Hitler and Nazi memorabilia. Uh, they got swastikas on their necks. Uh, you know, they, it just basically looks like a neo-Nazi camp. Mm. And they took his kid off him. Now, he decided then, I'm gonna fight this and go to court. Now, he might not be doing himself any favours, because when he turned up at court, he'd had his hair cut short. Uh, it's now black. Yeah. It's spun down and combed to the side. Oh, he has a little Adolf Hitler moustache, and he and his wife, who, by the way, is called, let's have a look, uh, Joyce Lynn Aryan Nation Campbell. That's her name. Um, both turned up in full Nazi regalia. <laughs> OK. Now, he then proceeded to make a small speech uh, to the TV cameras. He said, basically, it doesn't matter if I'm a Nazi and my wife and my son are a Nazi, I bring my son up to believe in his own beliefs. If you didn't want to follow us, that's fine. If you want to be a Christian, that's fine. Just because I'm a Nazi doesn't mean I'm not a good parent. Now, I suppose on one hand, he's right. But let's be honest. Child services walk into a house and it looks like a, a, a fan club for Adolf Hitler. You're not going to get to keep your kid for very long. No. <laughs> I got a funny feeling you're not going to win your case, Mr. Campbell. And you really didn't do yourselves any favours to turn up as an Adolf Hitler stunt double at your case. You know what I mean? It's a bit silly. If you've actually read it, I mean, perhaps Lee can find a photograph of the guy. Um, and if he does, it'll be put up no. now. Um, Amazing photograph, stood there, full Nazi regalia, swastika tattooed on his neck in red. Awesome. Yeah, you're not going to win. I'm telling you now. Stupid as it is, you shouldn't. I know you didn't make a good parent, but you're not going to win. <sighs> Can you believe some people? I know. Where's that to America? In America, it's. Um, da, 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 da. Let me flip back a second, gentlemen and ladies, and the other two people who are watching. Yeah. Um, Scruffy. Hello, Scruffy. Hello, Scruffy. New Jersey. He's from. Um, but his wife's name though, I mean Joyce Lynn Aryan Nation. <laughs> okay, he hasn't just... What are you thinking of, guys? Honest? I mean, you can do that, did you have to name your son Adolf Hitler Campbell? And then when you go and have a cake, then you ask him to write Adolf Hitler on it? I, d I, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't get people. They're amazing. Anyway, Lee. Okie dokie. Right, folks, you may, uh, or may not a few, of this so-called psychic called Derek Akora. <laughs> My left bollock is more psychic. <laughs> Back in the day, he used to be the chief um, chap on uh, the TV series Most Wanted Living TV, the one where Yvette Field didn't scream for an hour. Yeah, she screamed at Mars bars, you know, tables, yeah. a draft from a window. She'd scream at everything. She's so cool, she'd fucking kill herself, probably. And he's, he's currently doing a UK tour where, you know, he gives... The, the audience so you can connect to your dead uh, parrot or whatever thing like that uh, he had to cancel a gig earlier in the week due to unforeseen circumstances <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh. you put, put a photograph of me he's a smarmy looking twat yeah. to say the least um, yeah basically he was due to do uh, 
a do 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 performance at Carnegie Hall, not the one in New York, but the one in uh, Den Dunfermline, Fife last night. Not quite as big then, is it? And um, yeah, he had to pull out due to unforeseen circumstances. <laughs> a know, psychic. You, th you think the spirits would have told him? Yeah, spirit guide Sam. Mm. I turned in straight, right? If you've never ever seen it, it might be on YouTube. Um, oh, what's his name? It was a piss take of psychics years ago. Shirley Ghostman, it was called. If it's on YouTube, look it up. It's absolutely amazing. Because the one part, he's supposed to, he, he pretends to do very quick psychic readings. And the one woman walks up and he touches her and he goes, the sound you hear was the barking. The dog was in bed when you, dead when you buried him. And the woman's face dropped four foot. It was absolutely amazing. And he does things like that all the way through his show. Yeah. But the thing is, when it was put on TV, everyone knew it was a spoof. But when he was recording it, Everyone thought he was a real psychic. <laughs> Nobody knew. They actually advertised it in the places he went to as a real show with real a real psychic. Yeah. And in the last show, he'd reckon he had somebody come on stage to give him a lethal injection so he could go to the other side and then they bring him back. And the machine goes, boo! And he doesn't come back. And you could hear everyone in the audience going, oh my god, oh my god! He was hysterical. And when you did see the one where he's channeling Princess Diana, oh my god! Oh my god. Brilliant! Yeah. It's good, it's good. He goes, he sits there channeling, he goes, he goes, I didn't mind Charles seeing other women behind my back. What I did hate, however, is when I could smell the stinking smell of Camilla's pussy on Charlie's lips when he kissed my body goodbye. Oh my god! I almost spat my tea out when I read that. It's brilliant. Watch it. Fantastic. He's better than Derek Okora. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's oh that's crack. Absolutely cracking, fair play. I've got a small fact out if you want one. Yeah, go on. Jennifer Lopez. Her backside is insured for 27 million dollars. That's 13 and a half million a cheek. Do you know what? I don't know whose job he was to examine that backside. <laughs> yeah. But if you ever, ever, yet again need anyone to help, yeah. I'm, I'm quite experienced in, in, in like, well, <laughs> stuff. Stuff. Just leave a, leave your details in the box below. And yeah. If you need me to check out your ass for its 13.5 million pound, uh, pound or dollar deal, who you are? Yeah. You know, Jennifer Lopez, Rihanna. You know, uh, Sophia Vergeera, you know, Kate Beckinsale, mm -hmm. <clears throat> sorry, uh, I wave at the end of that, <laughs> sorry, uh, you know, anyone. Should I really have said in the box below? <laughs> yeah, Adele, don't send Elf. your name. <laughs> well, I know, it's quite, Adele's quite pretty, she is quite pretty, but she got right up her ass recently, and she, she used to be so humble, and then she was given the chance to do Skyfall, the song, and every, after I saw, saw her on stage, after she'd, she'd done the song for Skyfall, she was on there. She had the air of arrogance about it going. Hmm. And I thought, you know, come on, love. Get your head out your ass. Yeah, you sing for a living. From. Come on. Exactly. Yeah. Like I said, anyone needs their ass checked? Me, me and Lee. Me and Lee will we'll it. check it out. Yeah, we're, we're qualified. No problem, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a go. Yeah, women only. Yeah, no men. No men. I'm never confused. Unless, of course, you're Bradley Cooper. No. Did I just say that out loud? Yes, you did. And that's staying in. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> It'd make my wife jealous if we got to feel Bradley Cooper's ass. Anyway, Lee. Oh, okay. <laughs> Following on from that. Bradley Cooper's ass. Go on. Okay. Um, a burglar broke into a pub. You couldn't keep three faces. I got no. <laughs> Go on. A burglar broke into a pub, and it's all caught on CCTV. <coughs> he then helps himself to the contents of the bar, and then passes out, where he is found <laughs> in the morning by the owners. <laughs> there's a link to the video in the in the box below. And it's oh, that's brilliant! Remember to put the link there this time. Yeah, I know, because I didn't do one for the animal pool. <laughs> Oh, he's a bish. Absolute moron. He's a bish, yes. I told him about his own, he went, oh, okay. Yeah, I know. I was about two weeks ago and I have got it still. And I am going to give a quick mention, and I don't usually do this a lot. Um, Energon Media, in 
yep. conjunction with Lee's uh, of Post 51. Uh, they're doing a series called Z. First episode up. It's quite short and, 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 and succinct. Um, very well shot, very well filmed, very professional looking. Uh, fantastic location. I suggest you go and give it a look and subscribe to that film series. I'm not sure how many episodes it's going to be, but I think it's going to be... It looks pretty good. Go there, watch it. I'm sure Lee will stick a link in the yeah. box below. There we go. Way, how was that? Right, we are now in Abergavenny. In Gavenny, nemene, nemene, nemene. Ah. We're going to see if there's anywhere to park, because apparently there's a music festival down here today, apparently. Ah. That means there could be a lot of people, like hippies, you know, people oh, in backpacks. Office free love. Free love, I'll just take free asses. Yeah, Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. <laughs> put your name, put your phone, message me. Message me, you lover. Turn up as James Aye, I am. I'm gonna go. Oh, Cooper, get you a five nipples over here. He has got five nipples. He was on a show. Somebody asked him if it was true, and he showed them his nipples. All five of them. My wife goes weak at the knees when he speaks French, because he can actually speaks some like four or five languages. Right. He's fluent in French and a few other different languages. But when he starts speaking French, my wife just goes weak at the knees. She thinks he's stunning anyway. I've actually seen The Hangover 3, by the way. Yeah, any good? Awesome. The first film was good. I enjoyed the first one because it was funny. Second film was... Uh, third film, they end up back in Vegas. It is awesome. Alan steals it. Alan and Mr. Chow steal the film. Yeah. You might as well just not have the other guys there because this film is theirs. And it's brilliant. Alan is brilliant. And I'm not going to mention anything, but if you don't laugh at the scene with the giraffe at the beginning, you're a fucking corpse. I tell you <laughs> the street. I almost pissed myself with laughter. It was awesome. I loved it. I'm actually thinking about you know, when it comes out on DVD, if they do a three set box set, I'll buy all three. But just so I can watch the third one again. I just loved it. And apparently Man Steals out yesterday. It is indeed. Hmm. Yeah. I haven't seen it yet, but I hope to. Apparently it's quite good. It is, so yeah. See. See, he looks great, Superman. I just think he's going to be a really shit Clark Kent. But mm. anyway. That's the end of part one. It is the end of part one. We'll see you soon. Okay, bye bye. And welcome back to part two. Lee's helmet is in the boot. It is. I'm well endowed. <laughs> he has. It's like a baby's arm, holding a baby's arm, holding a python that's eating an apple. Yeah. It's mega. It is. Anyway, welcome back to part two, folks. I'm a little distraction. Um, okay, who's going to start? Well, I've got a really, really, really silly silly one. Um, it says, research done by NASA. They've had two mentions today. Um, concludes that an afternoon nap between 1 and 3 p.m. improves decision making. Ma mating? <laughs> I bet it does. <laughs> decision making and produ productivity. I'll try that again. Improves decision-making by 50%. Perhaps I should have an afternoon nap. Yeah, he's doing a corner. And a productivity by 35%. Now, it sounds a great idea that afternoon nap would produce, you know, make your productivity better if you had a small nap between those hours. But I can't see somehow my boss turn around and say, yeah, Paul, just put your head down on the bench for half hour and uh, it'll be fine. Don't worry. I can't see the workplace I'm taking that one on. What about you? I love women. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, wiggly bum. But yeah, that's 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 another fact. They reckon it improves One, productivity two, by thirty-five percent. I can't imagine it actually happening somehow. No. I mean, It'll it's just go. Eh, quite often in movement, trying to take the nap after lunch. Oh God, I but three o'clock it hits yeah. me. Oh, oh. how'd it go? Uh, I can't even spell things like the name. I start forgetting the date when I'm writing it down. I've been writing the date all day because I, I test electronic boards. And part of it, you've got to save all the data and you've got the, the dates with all that kind of stuff. But but the time goes to three o'clock, I think, what is it? Date is yeah. it? There's a piece of paper in front of me with the date on it multiple times. <laughs> you think all I do is just look at the page? No? It's, yeah, it's the Eyes same. and brain don't work. Um, see, I'm distracted. It's a massive limousine. <laughs> How the hell are they going to get out around there? I don't know. I'm uh, quite surprised how oh, that girl in the red with, like bridesmaid's dress is actually going to get in the car. Ah. Unless it's like a TARDIS and it's bigger on the inside. Um, okay. I've lost my train of thought. You were on but work, fall asleep, blah, blah, blah. There yeah, you. yeah. When, when it happens, like, when I feel tired, the, the out time suddenly slows down. And in the last hour and a half or oh, an I hour of the day, it's like... It's oh, a week. Come on! 
I done that work before. It was sat there, a really slow day. It was coming up to four o'clock, and I thought only half hour to go, only half hour to go. And I'm working away and working away. I thought oh, I've got to be almost finished time, and it was five past four. <laughs> it felt yeah. like I'd been there only easily over half hour. Yeah. Oh, it was killing. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. St sticking with the, the NASA theme, actually. Um, Yay! There was a big uh, <laughs> conference in LA. Wazzy dazzy! <laughs> it, uh, called E3, which yeah. is the, the big one for all the big video game publishers now. And NASA had a stall there where they were promoting a new game which is free online and it enables you to um, recreate some of the most important moments in NASA's history, uh, such as the landing of the first uh, Viking probe on Mars. Oh, cool! And um, the, uh, the, I can't think of the, the satellite that left the orbit of the solar system, that thing with the drawing of the Vitruvian Voyager. man on it. Voyager. Come on, remember your Star Trek, the motion yeah. picture, which was awful, by the way, guys. It allows you to carry out all those. Um, you can't actually alter history, but you can change things like the speed of the craft, rotation, take pictures, all this kind of stuff. And, it, and it's completely free online, folks. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the box below. PC or console? A PC. Oh, I'm going to go there. Oh, yes, I'll check that link out. I like yeah. the look of that. My wife would love that. And they, they, they showed a tech demo with the, the latest one, um, Curiosity. Yeah. And you can follow each individual aspect of, of the things that descend through Mars atmosphere. You can change your view at any time. Is that the one that drew the penis on the surface? Yeah. That's awesome. Go to planet Earth <laughs> and draw a cock. Go to Mars, you mean? I, sort of. I see. I saw this. Look. And you can like click at, at the moment. You can follow the progress of the of um, the, the of course the movies and things. <laughs> The actual lander, <laughs> the lander, the rocket that dropped it off. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, it's all free. So check it out, folks. There's, there's thingy stuff that you can do in space, yeah. like that. And you've got a TARDIS. That's it. And you've got a special spacecraft with a saucer on it. And it's called the Nenti Prize. And no, it isn't. The Nenti. The Nenti Prize. I'm Captain Prick. <laughs> But anyway, that's cool. Yeah. I definitely, when you put that link up, I'll have to go there. I fancy that. A lot. I, I've got a lovely little new story. It would make you smile a bit. Uh, an old man who gained the trust of a Belgian bank by bringing the workers daily, he brought them chocolate. Right. And he started to become friendly with all the work staff and the bank staff and the manager. And he was given VIP access to the bank vault. <laughs> and in 2007, stole $28 million worth of diamonds. Well done, sir. He might have spent a bit on chocolate, but I think it might have been worth it. Yeah. I think that's cool. That's a good way. I, I can check a real quick one in as well. Do you want a quick one? Yeah. Marilyn, Mon Marilyn Monroe's IQ was 168, which was higher than that of Albert Einstein. Mm. And she had better tits. She did. Lee. Really? Following that up, okay. You um, follow that. Marilyn Monroe's tits and I give. Yeah. Well, sort of. Um, women. Two women were arrested after fighting topless during the school run. Yes. Sorry. Uh, they had dropped their kids off at school, and apparently the, the two families are having a, a major dispute over who's basically boffing who. And um, at the school run about 9, 9 a.m., they two decided to get out of their cars and decided to scrap. It tumbled over into the road, and before you know it, they're ripping off each other's clothes. And basically, it was a uh, topless fight. Uh, all the traffic stopped, as it would do. <coughs> uh, I wouldn't have enjoyed that at all. Uh, yeah, kids were like holding hands over their eyes. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. mom! <laughs> For God's sake, you could put your nice bra on. And it was in Ireland as well. In, oh, well done, girls! In Limerick. Please tell me they were redheads. Really I know, pretty, I was just imagining Really that, pretty, yeah. were they the green or blue eyes? Yeah. That would be awesome. Two hot redheads fighting topless. <laughs> Give me a second. What a way to start your day. That's awesome. Yeah. But I just know in reality they probably weighed about 35 stone. <laughs> and yeah. they probably had less teeth than a jack-o'-lantern. I know jack o lantern is an American phrase, but... This, <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> now, this is the story I was on about. I thought it would make, oh, right. you, make okay. you wince a bit. Okay. Raphael Medien, Medien Rochero, a poet in Colombia. You know, he's always wanted to go to Europe, but can't afford it. So, how did he think he would raise the money? What, did he do a Kickstarter? Did he save money over a space of a few years? No. He's actually selling 
his testicles. Not the semen from his testicles, or the use of his testicles. Mm -hmm. He will have his testicles removed and sold for $20,000. Okay. You feckin' nutter. What does he hope to do with the money? He just wants to move to Europe. He wants to go to Europe. Yeah. Christ's sake, do what everyone else does. Jump on a boat and come here illegally. Yeah. We've got enough for fun. Yeah, we'll give you a free house, free money. Yeah, yeah it's great. Actually, there's even been a law brought in. If you're in this country and you can't find a house, they'll give you money to help you find a house. Come here and do that. Yeah. Honest, we've got everyone else here. You know, Polish, Ukrainians, Indians, Israeli, Israelis. You know. Yeah. I mean, i got nothing against about people coming to this country. But don't abuse the system, please. But then fair, we only got so much money. We're starting to steam up. I might have to open the window again, but yeah, open it up. Because it's raining again, folks. It's a yeah. little Welsh summer's day. Welcome yeah. to summer in Wales. It's like the tsunami in Japan. I didn't mean that to sound awful. <laughs> That's not quite the same thing. No. But we do get an awful lot of bloody water. I've seen photographs where they go, oh, bad weather in America, and it shows floods. That's like Wales. Mostly, you know, yeah. Mostly, yeah. You know, we got large fields and they got like about two foot of water on them and water belting down hillsides you practically surf on, you know. It's on the wind south of Japan, I shouldn't have done that. That was wrong of me. I do apologise right now, so if you want to abuse me, stick in the box below, we can do with the views. Exactly. <laughs> can you imagine that? I'll sell you nuts for 20 grand. Jesus. Ooh, I've only got... Let's have a look. Oh no, i got to cut them off. Cut them off. Okay. Come on. Right, uh, you may have seen this folks, it's quite a funny story really. A schoolgirl managed to get into Turkey by using her pretend passport, which was for her toy unicorn. <laughs> oh yes, cuties great in this country. Is it in, in Turkey? Actually. Yeah, yeah but, uh, where was she from? Uh, she's from UK. Yeah, but that means she had to go through a UK passport. Oh yeah, saying. passport control, that's right. Uh, yeah, good thinking, Batman. See? Yeah. I might not be Batman. Um, <laughs> All I'm saying is you never see us in the room at the same time. Basically, um, as, you, as you do, you want to just, just want to get on with your all day and you've got your passports in your hand, apparently um, her mum just reached into the bag, grabbed all these passports, handed them over, and this border official in Turkey went through them, as they do, scrutinised them, sticking stamp them, and this girl's one, it is a comic one, it is just basically, there's a picture on the screen now of it, and it's just got designer bear passport with a big picture of a teddy bear on it, he stares at it, stares at the picture, stamps it, and lets it through. He thinks that guy might need some reading glasses. Yeah. That's awesome! Yeah. Where do you get all your stories from? They're awesome. I'd have got the Huffington Post as well, for example, and this awesome place. I mainly go to the mirror.co.uk or cracked.com. Oh, I haven't been there. Good then. New stories coming up. Ooh. Welcome to Doom News. News at 73 past 6. Go for it. That's awesome! Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Now, apparently, you'll love this, and, and men know this anyway. Alcohol makes people five times more attractive than they really are. Did you know that? And some of the people I've seen men walking with at the end of the night, they must have drunk a lot of alcohol. Shit, load of you. Oh yeah, because there's no way that's five times more attractive. Even five times more attractive would make it look like Quasimodo. <laughs> On a bad day. You got the hat. Yay! Our face rings a bell. Yeah, I know, yeah, okay, we do all those jokes. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, that's, that's, that's another one. Also, another quick one. Just quick one, just what? quick one. Um, apparently, the character of Howard Stark is going to be in Captain America 2. Oh. Now, well, the, the guy who played Howard Stark has actually said this, I think, on his Twitter account. Yeah. Um, he says, I don't know how he's supposed to be in it. it seems, basically, by the time Captain America would be around in Captain America 2, Howard uh, Stark would already be dead. That's true. Unless they're going back in time to remember something, who knows? Possibly, in fact, the second or whatever. Yeah, they could be, they could be. So, oh, to you, Captain. Right, okay. A man has sued doctors after a botched operation leaves him with an eight-month erection and scrotum the size of a volleyball. I'm wrong. That one made me wince. <laughs> 
Um, track driver, Daniel Metzgar. Um, formed in Wilmington, I think that's Alabama, isn't it? Well, yes, it Alabama. is, I think it is, yes. And he had the operation done because basically cool. he wanted a, a big old wang. A big old wang! And the, the operation was meant to be just this little inflatable pouch that they put in, and when the muscle starts to crack, you know, starts yeah. to work, it would inflate this and it would give the appearance of a bigger, a bigger wang. <laughs> Only when he did it the first time, <laughs> it stayed up for eight months. <laughs> And now he's going to court to try and get his money back for all the distress that it has caused. Good luck, sir. Good luck. Juice, I got a story by her in this book. I'm trying to read it and I did it that quick this morning. I can't actually remember right then. But I got another one above here. A man has been sentenced to six months in prison. And once he comes out of prison, he'll actually spend six months in a halfway house. Now you think, what's he done? Well, he tattooed the letter I on his three-year-old nephew's arm. But not with proper tattoo machinery, with a homemade tattoo gun. Uh. Without taking any precautions, maybe they're making it sterile or safe. Or now, what was he, a three year old? Uh, also, during the court case, uh, the young boy and his family have been offered um, all the medical procedures they need to remove the tattoos free of charge. That's good. Which is good as far as I'm concerned. I still can't read that. Oh, I know what it is! There's been a sighting in, um, oh, where's it to? Where's it to? I can't remember what it is, but somewhere in America. Of the skunk ape. Bigfoot! Yay! Yay, yay, yay. It was in a field somewhere. Um, and it's been, you look, if you go online, skunk ape spotted, yada yada, Alabama. Um, the video is three minutes and seven seconds long. Now I watched this video, I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking, and why is there anyone ever spots anything like Bigfoot or UFO or 94 foot robot rape in a volcano? The only they've ever got is a camera with the quality, the visual quality of you holding up greaseproof paper to your fucking eyes and squinting. <laughs> Yeah. They were there video and it goes, oh there, I can see him, I can see him. Right now other people have come up and started taking photographs. Oh there he is, oh there's two of them. I'm thinking, I'm looking at this field and I'm thinking, it's a fucking yellow blue with a brown blue behind it. What am I looking at? Yeah. Three minutes and seven seconds, this video, right? And he goes, after a while, this is where I stopped filming. Oh really? <laughs> and started taking photographs with my phone. And then it shows this image of a field and these little black blobs. It could be a man masturbating in an anorak. I don't know what it is. Could, could be a cow standing on his hands. I couldn't tell you what it is. All I know is, Bobo, you need to get there, buddy. Yeah. Get there right and there. find out it's the average size of an adult <laughs> Bigfoot. <laughs> tell me, stand in the field, measure it against yourself, wear a walkie suit and find out if it's believable. It was fucking awful. In my opinion, right, if it was any more fake, it'd be a wig on a man who had a chin strap on it. It was awful. <laughs> and if Lee can put up the link to the video, or photographs to the video, yeah. do it. Because it is terrible. It is awful. I can't believe it. They'd go, oh, we've seen the skunk it. No, you've seen a field with two black bobs in it uh, moving. It could be blokes in suits. Know, yeah. It could be Agent Coulson looking That's for Thor's right. armor. It's shield. It's shield. But you can't wait to see when it comes yeah. into the shield. And Samuel Jackson said he wants to make an appearance in it. Oh. And I thought that's great. Brilliant. That's fantastic skunk it by fucking arts. What's going on there? Oh god. Anyway, Lee, yours. Okay. Have you well, dropped all your paperwork between well, minutes? No, I've uh, I've actually done my all my stories now. Really? Yeah. Okay. I've actually got um um one more. Now, apparently there was going to be another Dumb and Dumber film. Oh, yeah, and it was going to be yeah. the original guys in it. It was going to be Jim Carrey and, and the other bloke. Oh, something Bridges. Yeah, um, not in Bridges, is it? Um, Bridges, you know? Oh, I know. Anyway, the other guy um, was in it. And for months now, people have been saying it's happening. The script is written. The both of them want to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> um, Warner Brothers has now stood up open heartedly and said, yeah, it ain't happening. Good. Uh, basically, we have no interest in it. We don't think it warrants making another film because, let's be honest, the first two didn't do that well. No. 
Um, I can understand that, I, though I did enjoy the first one because it's absolutely stupid and Jim Carrey does make me laugh, or used to make me laugh. He does some beautiful, serious stuff as well, mind it. Yes. Uh, but to be honest, I think it would be absolutely pointless. Yeah. And absolutely stupid and a waste of time. Yeah, come on, Hollywood. Yeah, come on! What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? It's ridiculous. But it seems there's only been two of us in this. I think we've done really, really well. Lee's run out of stories. I've just done my last one and we are almost home. Yeah. Been there, come back. We've been to Abergavenny, even though it was a music festival, we've found plenty of place to park and plenty of place to sit and drink coffee. We have also had a very good time. We also found out how, how to make a charger for my battery powered airsoft. Yay! Uh, thanks to a wonderful man in Abergavenny Market who sells military gear. Yes. If you ever need to buy any military gear, he's the guy. His name is Paul. Go in there and have a look. He's got wonderful jackets, got helmets, got like the camo stuff, the vests. Uh, he's a really good guy. Yeah. Really, really good bloke. Really knowledgeable stuff as well. He the knows his stuff. Yeah. You show me that belt, I had no idea about it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it, there's a loop on the side. I mean, I don't, I don't know my military stuff that well. To actually turn around and say, oh yeah, that's, oh ah, yes, um, obviously the dolphin flange that's been connected to the uh, the unicorn strap has been made by somebody else. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's all my military stuff. I haven't even had up on my guns anymore, which is really sad because you know them really well. Uh, but he offered me an idea about to charge the actual battery, and I thought, brilliant. I said, but I don't leave it on too long and blow the battery. See? Yeah. With a charger, charger would turn off after a while. I might look online, see if I can find a proper well, yeah, charger. time is really, isn't it? Yeah. If I left on it for like two hours and see if it's a charger, it'd be great. But I want to charge it and knock off. But um, he, he, he can give me answers for that, and I think that's brilliant. Nice guy. Pop in. Buy some stuff from him. Yep. Keep him going. He's a good guy. Anyway, that's the end of episode. 31. And that's by from me, which is Paul. Super sausage, Jeffries. I haven't got a big penis, I just <laughs> got a sausage that weighs a cape. It's got an S on the front. Sausage man. Sausage man. Sausage man. That's even worse, sounds like a porno. <laughs> it doesn't matter. And it's probably by from Lee. Lee, super duper enormous. Breath. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, whatever he wants to call himself. I don't know. Super duper mighty electro man. There we yeah, go. that's great. And if you, like the, if you were a superhero, what would you be? Leave the answer in the box below. That's the, oh, I like that one. Yeah. I, I think, and actually, Adam Ricardo gave me my super man, superhero name years ago, because uh, my forehead's quite high. Um, he actually called me Captain Slaphead, Man of Bran. <laughs> and I actually drew myself as Captain Slaphead years ago. Um, I'll have to redraw it, if I can find it. Next time, I'll bring it along. Yeah. You can scan it and bring it up. Yeah. Um, that's uh, all of it for now, from this one. And it's like 31. Next one will obviously be 32. Where we are. Ooh, See, ooh. He's good with maths. I know. Yeah. And we'll. Uh, Who knows? It'll be more of us, eh? Maybe. Possibly. Yeah. Hopefully. If not, it'll be two of us again. Yeah. Um, and we'll catch you on the next one. Okay. Bye. Bye, guys.